<laughs> right on the last second that one was. Right, so if I took out the ETX of the factor, I've got two lots of the bracket, so that would be like a 4x minus 6. But then I'm adding on a 1, so I've really got 4x minus 5. So what I've got is a 4x minus 5, I think. I've lost my question. Yeah. Uh, e to the x all over 2x minus 3 to the half. There you go. That finished that bit off anyway. Right, let's have a look at the next one, because we've got loads and loads of examples with this one. We've got loads and loads of practice to do, which is good. Right then, so stationary points, the bit you've been looking for. And determine the nature. Oh my god, that's crazy. Now you have to write small for this one. So dy by dx. So remember, it's first times second differentiated, second times first differentiated. So first bit is x, second bit differentiated is minus e to the minus x. Because you differentiate the power, stick it in the front. Plus second bit, e to the minus x times by first bit differentiated, 1. So dy by dx is minus x, e to the minus x, plus e to the minus x. I know it's stationary, so that's done for differentiating. When dy by dx is 0, so minus x, e to the minus x, plus e to the minus x is 0. I can take out an e to the minus x as a factor. I've got e to the minus x is 0. So remember, the graph of e to the minus x is an asymptote, so that's got no solution because e to the minus x is greater than 0. And then I've got minus x plus 1, so I've got 1 for x. So that's where my stationary point is. If you put 1 in there, then you don't have to read that. So the y value would be y is, so look, 1, lots of e to the minus 1, so it's just e to the minus 1. So my coordinate is 1 e to the minus 1. So that's my stationary point done. Then it says determine the nature. So that means I want to differentiate it again. Uh, so d2y by dx squared. I might move that down a little bit. I'm going to put my dy by dx there. So that was... Uh, Let's write it as this bit here. I can do that. No, do you know what? I'll just do it here. It's fine. <laughs> Put it in the wrong place, so sorry. Um, right. So for this bit, I've actually got product rule again. So first bit times by second bit differentiated. Plus second bit differentiated times by uh, second bit times by first bit differentiated. So that's my product rule, which gives me a x e to the minus x minus e to the minus x. But then I've missed off this e to the minus x, which is a minus e to the minus x, so minus e to the minus x. So the second differential is x e to the minus x minus 2 e to the minus x. And I'll look where x is 1. So we've gone too fast with that, so it will be double check. So minus x e to the minus x. First bit, second bit differentiated. Second bit, first bit differentiated. So all that there is my product rule for that. And then I've differentiated the e to the minus x on its own. So when x is 1, uh, d2y by dx squared is minus 1, e to the minus 1, minus 2, e to the minus 1, um, which gives me a value, according to the calculator, of minus 0 0.368. So, d2y by dx squared is less than 0, therefore max at... 1, 90, minus 1. There. Going to be happy with these coordinates in terms of E's and LN's and all sorts. Now, what do you think of that one? <laughs> Next one. Well, this, I think this is the last one. It is. 
It's the last one. So we want an exact equation of a tangent. Right, so I've got two bits here. Let's, let's get on with it quick then. So dy by dx. First bit times by second bit differentiated. So remember, it's a log. It's differentiate the bracket over the bracket. So differentiate x squared is a 2x. Let's spread this one so. And then I've got x squared plus 1 on the bottom. Then the second bit, log of x squared plus 1 times by 2x. Tidy up a little bit. You can't really do much with it, to be honest. I've got 2x cubed over x squared plus 1 plus 2x log of x squared plus 1. So when x is 2, dy dx is 2 lots of 2 cubes, that's 8, over 2 squared plus 1 is 5. Plus 2 lots of 2 log 2 squared plus 1. So that's a 4 ln 5. So that's your gradient. All that there is your gradient of your tangent. Why am I doing any of that wrong? They've got 16 over 5. Oh, 2, 4, 8, 16. Look, see, 2 to the power 4, 16 over 5. There, sorry about that, everyone. It's me rushing to get this last bit done. That's a problem, isn't it, when you rush things? So that would be my gradient. Um, let's do the y value. So the y value is 2 squared log of. 2 squared plus 1, so y is 4 ln 5. So I'm going to use 2, 4 ln 5, which I could write as uh, 2, comma log 5 to the power 4, five, uh, and m is 16 over 5 plus 4 log 5. So I've got y minus 4 log 5 is equal to m, which is 16 over 5, plus 4 log 5, x minus 2. There you go. Done, dusted, finished.